Okay guys, so something I get asked pretty frequently is how do you get Game Center like right there on iOS 4? Guys, it's a very simple process. You don't have to jailbreak, you don't have to do anything, and there's really no downside to getting it. Of course, guys, Game Center is not fully functioning. Um, if you don't know what Game Center is, it is pretty much very similar to like Xbox Live for you know the iPhone, except it's obviously free. Um, you can go ahead and play games with friends, do a lot of really cool things. It really gives a really great social aspect to the iPhone and iPod Touch. So guys, like I said, there's not a ton to do if you do have Game Center right now, but there's not a whole lot of downside to not having it. So guys, I'd say go ahead and do it if you're interested, and I'll go ahead and show you guys it's a very simple process on how to get it. Okay guys, so to get Game Center, it's very, very simple. Um, now you will need to go ahead and restore your device to the iOS 4 Gold Master. Um, so guys, if you don't know what this is, basically this was the uh, the final beta, I suppose, of iOS 4. Guys, this is practically identical to the standard I, uh, iOS 4 that you might already be running right now. Um, guys, I've been running it for a couple weeks now. Haven't really run into any you know bugs or issues. Um, so guys, really, I wouldn't worry about it. Of course, you know, always, you know, you got to be careful. But really, it's not a big deal to me. Um, so guys, I can't actually go ahead and give you guys the link to the firmware, but it's really simple. Just you know, Google iOS 4 GM, and you should be able to find it, no problem. Just go ahead. Um, you will need to go ahead and download it for either your iPod Touch second generation. It doesn't matter what kind. Third generation or the iPhone 3G or 3GS. You can't obviously, iOS 4 is not out for the original iPod Touch or iPhone and there's no Gold Master for the iPhone 4. But guys, if you have one of those four devices, which I'm sure most of you do, then you're all, you're all set. So go ahead, download the firmware and I'll show you guys how to install it. It's very simple. So go ahead and open up iTunes then just go ahead and plug your iPod Touch or iPhone in and let it sync. Be sure it's you know it's fully backed up because we will go ahead and restore it. Now, guys, you might be able to do this with check for update, but I really, really doubt it. Um, I'll go ahead and just stick with the restore. It's not a big deal. Um, so, guys, to do this, it's very simple. Once your iPod or iPhone's been totally backed up, you just need to restore to the firmware. Um, so, if you've ever jailbroken, this is probably going to be really familiar to you. All you need to do is on a Mac, you press Option and then click Restore. Um, now on Windows, you do Shift and Restore. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And there we go, guys. So then it will go ahead and pop up a menu. And then all we have to do is scroll down, find our uh, iOS 4 firmware, and hit it open. Now, obviously, I'm running that right now, so I'm going to go ahead and do it. But, guys, it should just give it, of course, just give it a few minutes. Let it run through. Then at the end, it will go ahead and ask you, do you want to restore the backup? Go ahead, restore from the same backup that you just hooked up. And then it will should be identical to the way it was only with, of course, just the Game Center. Um, now, if you're jailbroken, you will have to re-jailbreak, of course. So, you know, you'll have to weigh it out. But if you're not, go ahead and just do this. It's not a big deal. So now that you have Game Center on your iPhone or iPod Touch, let's go ahead and just show you guys a little bit about what it's like. So go ahead and we can just go ahead and launch it. Um, and it will give just a second to load. And there we go. Um, so guys, as you can see, it will go ahead and, you know, tell you, you can go ahead and pick out your name. Um, the first time you launch it, it will give, uh, it will prompt you to go ahead and sign in with your uh, Apple account, which is the same that you know you, when you punch in to go, uh, you know, download an app, for example. Um, but yeah, so guys, as you can see here, we can go ahead and pick out friends. And right now, you know, you can go ahead if you know somebody who does have Game Center also on iOS 4, for example, guys, you can go ahead add me up if you like. But if you know if you know someone who you know is already on iOS 4 and you want to play games with them, go ahead and add them as a friend right now. And obviously, if you come over here, you'll have the friend requests. But guys, like I said, there is not a ton to do with Game Center right now. Um, a lot of this is, you know, really waiting for developers to actually go ahead and start preparing their apps. Anyway, guys, that's a really simple thing on how to get Game Center on iOS 4. Um, you know, I've said this a bunch of times, guys. There's not a huge reason. Probably the main reason you would do this is just to go ahead and request your name. I know a lot of people have already had their names stolen. So, I mean, you know, if that's what you're really interested in, go ahead and get it. And you can kind of get a little sneak peek of it until... Uh, you know, it's actually out. Um, so guys, it will probably be released, um, you know, perhaps, I would say September would be the latest that would be released, perhaps like when the, you know, the next iPod Touch and all the new iPods come out. Um, hopefully it'll come out sooner, hopefully maybe, you know, in the next, maybe on like the next update. But until then guys, go ahead, and get, go ahead, grab GameCenter and you'll be all set to go. Anyway, thanks for watching.